What we're doing is we are focusing on a specific part of the foot and I'm gonna show you how to identify that. So I'm gonna stand on this elevated surface, this yoga block, and I'm just gonna, in a lax manner, hold the other leg out. And already you can see as I relax, because I'm not holding it up, I'm not pressing it down into the ground, as I relax, it takes form. And the form that it takes has the lateral edge closest to the ground. And that is where you want to land. Where you land in this moment is exactly where you should land while walking. And yes, I know you're gonna say, well, they're sprinting and they're leaning forward. No, it is the natural manner in which our leg hangs. If we were to suspend our leg at any point in time, as soon as we relax, the outer, the lateral edge, the outside edge, falls lower than any other part of the foot lower than the ball of the foot, lower than the heel. Now, this is the way that nature intended. Why do you say that? Well, if you notice from the top part of the foot, as I land, you'll see that the toes splay upon contact. The lateral edge takes the brunt of the impact, splaying as a suspension mechanism. And when it is time for me to propel forward, I will then squeeze or engage the foot musculature to then move forward. So it's giving me rebound, suspension, dampening, then rebound. See how that works? And if you think that heel striking does not damage your feet in the long run and the rest of your body, then try wearing a barefoot shoe, try heel striking, and see how that works for you.